Hello. Not long ago, I recommended this. The SV Boney SV520 Telescope. It's a nice scope and it works nicely. However, there are a few things you could do to improve its performance, particularly that of the mount. Let me show you. First, we take our five and a half millimeter Allen wrench and remove these two Allen bolts from the bottom of the mount. By the way, I loosened these up before we started to save time. Underneath you will find this, a nut. We'll take our uh, one half inch socket and take that nut off. Underneath the nut, we will find this, a flat washer. We'll take that flat washer out and replace it with this, a stainless spring steel lockdown washer. We'll then put the nut back on. Once we have it on, we'll test it. This needs to be loose enough so that you can turn it uh, without it resisting, but tight enough so that it won't wiggle. So you'll need to tighten or loosen this to taste. I currently have mine set so I can move the scope with one finger, but it won't wiggle. And then we'll put this back on. Next thing, this, this should resolve the issue of wiggling on the azimuth axis, turning the scope right and left. We'll also find some wiggle in the vertical axis, altitude, up and down. We resolve that by taking our Allen wrench and taking out these four bolts. I had loosened them beforehand to save time. Uh, Underneath that, we will find a nut right here. Take our half inch socket, remove the nut. Under the nut, we will find this, a flat washer. And we will replace it with this, a, another uh, stainless spring steel lockdown washer. Both of these, in fact, all these are going to be 9 millimeter in uh, diameter. And then we'll put the nut back on, and we will put it on tight enough so that it doesn't wiggle, but loose enough so that it easily turns. Uh, another thing about this particular part, see there's four holes here. There's a lot of holes here. You can choose which holes you put this in. When I received it, the lockdown thumb screw to hold the uh, optical tube on was at the bottom. And the uh, slow motion control was facing the wrong way, or at least some way other than that which I wanted. So you, uh, I like it at the top. The, optical tube lockdown screw so I changed it so that it would be at the top. Go ahead and put those back on. Make sure that they're both nice and smooth but not wiggly. Once you do this the lockdown washers will hold them in place and they won't loosen up anymore. 
Uh, in addition to that, uh, if you remove this thing down here on the bottom, hold this so it doesn't fall out, uh, you'll find this bar comes up here. Take one of these 9 millimeter stainless spring steel lockdown washers and put on top of that and then tighten it back up. This will also remain tight then. One more thing you'll find is the uh, this leg right here is a little loose. It doesn't fit all the way up against the uh, accessory tray even when you uh, pulled it up all the way. I looked at several ways to fix that. One was to add a shim. I took a little wooden wedge and put it in there and that seemed to work. But I was afraid since this is a plastic accessory tray that I ended up breaking it so I took that out. I also considered uh, several other ways. One way I, I, I tried which worked was put it all together as tight as you can get it and then wrap packing tape around it. That'll certainly work, but then it makes it difficult to disassemble to take to a dark site. Uh, there's a, a hole in this bar down here at the very bottom. The hole goes all the way through. It was made so you could run a cord through there and hang something really heavy, eight, ten pounds. Sack of sand, I guess, is what photographers use. If you don't have a sack of sand, you can use a plastic bag with four or five cans of black-eyed peas or something in it and hang it on there, and that will lower the center of gravity and move the center of gravity toward the center. I haven't, although I could do that with the leg, it, they're right, it's not fitting tight, I haven't had a whole lot of problem with it wiggling with the scope with the optical tube that comes on here. I guess if you put a heavy enough optical tube on it, it could be a problem. Uh, if anyone has any better suggestions as to how to address this issue, go ahead and put them in the uh, comment section below. That, that, that. One more thing. One more thing with your routine maintenance would be this. Uh, the slow motion control. They're nice, they work nicely, they're made of plastic. And as you turn this, you'll eventually wear it out. So when you do, you'll need to replace it. This is a Celestron uh, slow motion control rod. They cost uh, between six and twelve dollars each. Six for the short one, twelve for the long one. You can replace this with this. It's fairly standard. I took this one off my uh, Astro Master 130 uh, Newtonian. They're all interchangeable. This also has a thumb screw here to tighten it down. The slow motion. Uh, control rods found in the mount are designed to work with these or these. It's it's around and it's got a groove cut on one end. You can look at it and see. Uh, you will eventually have to replace this with this. In the meanwhile, if it comes loose, you can do what I do what I commonly do with these, wrap a little bit of scotch tape around it. And that'll make it. That'll make the uh, male part wider. So when you stick the female part on, it'll fit tighter. So that way you, you won't have these falling off all the time. As far as uh, regular cleaning, you will have to disassemble this thing and uh, clean it because it, it, it has lubrication and moving parts. When you do disassemble it, make sure that these little lockdown knobs that fit into the mount are loose. Because if they're not, when you take the plate off to clean the gears, a spring here will pop out and you won't notice it, you won't hear it, it'll take you two hours to find the thing on your uh, Persian rug 
like it did me. Uh, but as I say, you will eventually have to. Now when it comes, it comes with a, a sticky, heavy grease. So it can sit in a warehouse for a year before shipment. When you take it apart for cleaning, you'll want to remove that and replace it with a, a light lubricating oil. Anything else about this? No, that pretty much covers the mount and the uh, tripod. You will find that once you tighten it up, that you have a lot less jiggle. Uh, telescopes are bad about that. The heavier the mount, the less the jiggle. The lighter the opt and shorter the optical tube, the less the, the jiggle. This is a long optical tube on a light mount. So you're going to have a little bit of jiggle. What you don't want is enough jiggle so that you can't focus. Uh, before I started this, it took when I would focus and stop, it would take about three seconds for it to settle down. Now it's only taking about a second, which is better. And the slow motion controls takes less than a second, half a second. So that way you'll be able to use them out more effectively. Anything else? No, that's all I got for now. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. And until I see you again, happy trails. Hello again. As I was editing this video, another way of addressing the loose leg occurred to me. You don't have to put a shim in it. You could just take some tape and wrap it around this leg, which would make the leg fatter, and then it would butt up against the accessory tray. If you find this is a problem for you. And, uh, yeah. So, once again, until I see you again, happy trails.